a lot of people Thank saw you. that. And I can't imagine what it was like to have a prominent sitting United it's States so senator funny. running for president and having no idea, as I've said to other people, when you stepped in front of that guy, you had no idea what his intentions no were. He could have had a gun. He could have had a knife. You didn't know what he was going to do. So good on you for the courage you showed. And you stood your ground. I said, <laughs> I know who I want moderating my next panel. <laughs> Karine Jean-Pierre. Uh, take us through what, what happened on Saturday. Yeah, so I, I want to first start to say that the conversation we were having before he jumped on, really hurled his body onto the stage, we we're talking about gender gap and race. Mm. So you have three women on stage, three women of color on stage, having this really uh, insightful conversation. It was it was Kamala Harris's big idea. And so, we're, you know, we're just talking, going into depth. And we're also talking about race as well in, in that conversation. And here comes this guy with all of his male privilege and jumps on stage and says, I have something better to talk about. Mm. I have something that I want to talk about. So there is the, the insulting component of it as well as the frightening part of it as well. And when I saw him, I wasn't sure what was going on. That's why I kind of was staring and I thought, well, who is this guy? And when he started making his way towards the senator, I thought, oh, no, this is this could end up, the outcome was what I was worried about. Right. And, I, and I've said this before, I was thinking Virginia Beach had just happened the day before. I was thinking, you know, wow, we've had hate crimes rise in the last three years. And I thought, she is a sitting senator who is running for president, a woman of color. Mm. Anything could happen. And I just thought, it's going to go bad, and I cannot let this happen. And so, I, I, as you saw, I just went into action. It was instinct. I wasn't thinking about it. I wasn't thinking about what could happen to me. I was thinking about what could happen to her. And uh, she was, you were asking me what she was like, and she was fantastic. She was terrific. Um, I've talked about when she was leaving, because she came back on, she went off stage and came back and we continued the conversation. Uh, she, and I apologized to her when she, when she was leaving, we were all done. And she said, no, thank you. I am so proud of you and what you have been doing. Um, and then she called me on Sunday just to check in, just to see how I was doing. So I, you know, I've, I said this last night on Rachel Maddow, it really made me think about what we're missing in this country, just common human decency. Yep. People People just saying thank you and being worried about you and we just don't see that anymore and so that's kind of part of it too and I've heard from so many women uh, white black women of color saying to me you know I've experienced that and no one came to my aid mm. and uh, you know I had this one woman text me last night who said you know I just feel like black women are the most disrespected women on the planet like people are really women in particular are feeling that moment moment that they saw on the stage. Yeah, I think a lot of people will be surprised to know that Senator Harris, although she's running for president, is a very well-known figure, doesn't have security. Yeah. And um, a lot of people think it shouldn't take Corrine Jean-Pierre to prevent an incident <laughs> from happening. Um, are they reviewing, to the extent you're aware of it, security that measures part, around these candidates? Yeah, so that part I don't know. Um, I, I, you know, we did not have that conversation. Yeah. It was just a check-in. So I, I really don't know. I think on our end, I have to be very honest here, we are, we need to move on, uh, needs to figure out, we're trying to figure out what happened, how did this even, how did this guy get on stage, and we make sure that that never happened again so that responsibility is on us and that needs to be fleshed out and figured out in case we were talking about this in the break most people don't realize yeah uh, Congress people senators they don't have security almost none of them do the very top leadership will have a security detail um, occasionally if there's a, a threat that the Capitol Police become aware of they'll give a sitting senator security but otherwise you know it's you know once we get down the road of the campaign it'll become the Secret Service's responsibility but even that's very threat based uh, and you know typically doesn't even happen until we get to the, you know, once the primaries have already started. So, mm. I mean, Bernie Sanders used to pay yeah. for his own security. That's right. Yeah. He That's right. Uh, was on the campaign. And Barack Obama in 2008, they gave him security right. because the risk was so high. I'm sure the threat was so high. And that was in the primary, which is really where. We'll very see if that's reviewed yeah. now. Well, great job. Thank you. Your instincts were incredible. You, Thanks, you, you know, we're very glad to be able to sit here and talk to you thank about you. this. Yes. In, and thank praise you. what you did. And thank you for the shout out you gave me on Sunday night. I really appreciate that. Well done. Let's talk. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.